Fingers. I don't see scarecrows. That's it. There we are. That's it. That's it. The perfect pantomime ballad is usually about six foot three. I'm five foot two, and I'm playing the ballad, so I have to use extra strength and power to really be evil. But I like being evil. I like frightening children. I don't really, but I've always played the jester or buttons in Cinderella, and now I get the ch chance to play the baddie. And to be really evil, it's quite a, a strange move to the opposite end of the pantomime deal. And I love it. It's great fun. Can you use this big curved knife? From pantomime villain to a real hero in the kitchen. <laughs> Upon hearing about the grand opening of the Richard Hughes Cookery School, celebrity mass chef contestant Wayne Sleep donned his apron and set himself the task of showing the chef the correct way to prepare a traditional Cornish pasty. Should you cook much at home? No, not at the moment, because okay. my husband cooks most of it. Right. Because he's Spanish and his paellas are the best in the world. And um, that's his throne, that's his I part never of the cook, house. Yeah, I never cook at home. Don't you? My wife cooks. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes. Does she cook cooks. better than you? She cooks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with Wayne, I love enthusiastic people. I don't care what they're enthusiastic about, as long as they are up for up for fun. And and he's just a great guy. You can see he's he's almost he can he can never be out of character, can he? But he loves his food, which is the main thing. If you if you want to be a great cook, you have to love your food. But a really genuinely lovely, lovely man. And by that time, your nerves are shattered. And um, she she I brought it and I pushed it down. And she went. We sleep! There's more jam on your apron than there is in your dish! Because <laughs> I was covered in red jam. <laughs> My family handed it down from generation to generation because I'm from Devon originally. And um, so I phoned them up because um, Greg from, from MasterChef asked me to donate a recipe to a book for, to raise money for Dr. Bernardo's and it's called Cooks and Kids. And so I had a person from Bananas with me um, and uh, we cooked together. I had to cook her recipe and she had to cook mine. So it was great fun and all the proceedings go to Dr. Bernardo's, which is a fantastic charity. How do you do your, I normally no. just roll it over. Yeah. But you do it however Well, you... he, they told me to do it not quite like that. That's okay. Right. That's enough, that's fine. Yeah. But we there break we a little pattern like that. That's right, that's it, that's done. <laughs> you show me how, seriously, I don't... <laughs> All my that. own work. All my own work. <laughs> Picture. If you want to book on a course, they just can go online at school, and there's loads of courses from beginners to professionals, um, baking, butchery, fish, you name it. If it's anything to do with cookery, it's all happening here at the Assembly House. Your hand must be like, like this, like this. Yes, that's it. But they, no, you have to be like that. I'm learning all sorts of things today.